Tanzanians tuliwaambia never compete with Kenyans at any given level of life. Unajua sisi na Tanzania na Kenya ni jirani sana. Majirani kama ni vidole ni hivi viwili. Hmm? Unajua kitu kinaniuma mimi Kenya ni kitu kimoja. Kitu kinachoniuma mimi Kenya ni kitu kimoja. Kwa nini? Lakini kwa nini? Kenya wanajua kila kitu. Afu wametuzidi Tanzania. Angali sisi majirani tuna uwezo wa kushare vitu vingi. Eh? Kwa nini Kenya inasifika kwa kuwa na watu wenye elimu wengi, watu wenye pesa wengi, watafutaji wengi, wanajua Kiingereza wengi na wanajua ni Kiswahili wengi na wanakijua Kiswahili sana kuliko hata sisi Tanzania? Why Tanzania? Why Tanzania? For me it makes no doubt that Kenya will become the world capital of innovation. Why? Because innovation is all about hustling and the Kenyan are just the world champion of that. <laughs> Many people love to believe that innovation is about having a strong vision and a precise plan of action. But it doesn't work. It's not possible to predict even the result of a task you do yourself. So apparently this is the list of top 10 African countries leading in AI usage and development. AI stands for artificial intelligence. Just in case you're not familiar with the word AI. So in all in all, at number one, of course, South Africa is expected and Nigeria the giant of Africa and shout out to Kenya. To be frank with you, Kenya is underrated. Kenya is really underrated like kenya is really progressing so shout out to the people of kenya at number 10 we have ethiopia at number nine ghana at number eight we have rwanda at number seven we have Algeria. at number six tunisia at number five morocco at number four like i said earlier kenya so at number three we have egypt so the top position is between south africa and nigeria so shout out to this uh, countries that made it to the list and uh, to be frank with you according to reports by 2030 artificial intelligence is expected to contribute to over 1.2 trillion dollar to africa gdp so countries like south africa and nigeria are leading the charge with ai powered uh, fintech healthcare and you know smart agriculture rwanda and ghana are leveraging ai for governance and digital transformation while morocco tunisia scaling you know through artificial research and policy development so with increased funding from global tech giant and government uh, backed uh, artificial intelligence uh, initiative africa is not just uh, adopting ai it is also building its own artificial intelligence uh, driven future innovation is about becoming in line with the universe and synchronize every forces involved in the project and this is done by hustling if you want to create something amazing something that was never done before you have to ask yourself the two same questions every day the first question is look at what you're doing and ask yourself what is it because it's not what you believe even if you created yourself on the games i make i play them every day and every day i understand tons of new things and secondly how can i make it better based on everything i know now based on all the people all the context all the concept all the ideas we involved now i know better than yesterday and now i know better how to make it better tomorrow hmm? <laughs> jirani eh? inauma sana pale jirani yako anakuzidi kila siku kila kitu ako juu na kuwa yani kenya wako na msimamo utuzidi yani unajua everything wametuzidi why na sisi tanzania tuna nini Sasa najiuliza kati ya Tanzania na Kenya wapi wako na mashetani? <laughs> Sisi naona kabisa tuko na mashetani kwa sababu hatupendi kujituma. Hatupendi kujituma. Lakini pia hmm? why Kenya wako na hela kubwa kutuzidi sisi lakini matumizi yakawa ni makubwa ya Tanzania kuliko Kenya? Why? Oh,
matumizi ya Kenya ni madogo na wako na hela kubwa kuliko sisi na sisi ndio tuna matumizi makubwa kuliko wao na ndio maana maskini Tanzania na sakali wengi kuzidi Kenya wako na economy kubwa kuliko sisi why Tanzania shida nini wako na skills kubwa wako na elimu kubwa eh iwe ya mitandaoni wametuzidi Yaani mpaka kelele za mitandaoni wametuzidi. Why? Sisi tuna shida gani? Tanzania tuko na shida gani? Kiburi ndo tumewazidi. Tanzania tuko na kiburi ambayo mtu akija hapa anaweza kaisi Tanzania hawana kiburi, lakini Tanzania iko na kiburi mbaya mbovu. Wafuatilia sana. Unaweza kujua Tanzania hawana kiburi, lakini Tanzania wana kiburi. Tulicho wazidi ni kiburu. Unajua wanaweza katuambia kabisa kwa address sisi hapa. Tujifunze Kiingereza. Kwa sababu wanatufundisha kitu ambacho kipo. And Kenyan are fucking ready. They are warrior. They have like this fierce heart, this no fear, this hustling philosophy and they are fucking ready. <laughs> I don't think that the world see that coming, but I can see it so fucking clearly. So shout out to this contrast to made it to the list. Artificial intelligence is no longer a distant future for Africa. It is happening now. African nations are integrating artificial intelligence into their economies. So guys, I was looking at the biggest companies in Kenya. The Safaricoms, the KCBs, even the Kenjans. And for a minute I started wondering, what's gonna be their fate around 2035, 2040? You know there is one plain truth about companies. They fall when they stop adapting. And trust me, we have all seen it happen before. Kodak the company had cameras, but they had no vision for the digital ones. There was a time that Nokia ruled the whole world, but then it lost due to a touch screen. So I look around and think Kenya could be sitting on its biggest economic revolution yet, which is not oil or natural resources, not even this land, but intelligence, digital intelligence. And I keep on saying this over and over again. AI is not about robots or fancy tech. Artificial intelligence is simply about data, predicting what the customers want, automating those small businesses and creating smarter systems that are not just sleeping anytime and trust me that's how most millionaires will come from kenya these are the guys who don't wait for permission to start something so in the next decade in the next five years africa's biggest success will not be from the guys who own the biggest lands but it will be from those who understand and know how to process data the ones who are building systems that can think sell and even create things even when they themselves are sleeping so yeah so i've now changed my question it's not what's going to happen to these big kenyan companies but my question is who's quietly building the next big kenyan companies comment you if you think you are one of them all right see you